clinical trial for people who have been diagnosed with pancreas cancer is very important. What we have as standard therapy really isn't that effective. And so because we don't have really great treatments for people with pancreas cancer, clinical trial is the best option, both for the patient as well as for society and for the advancement of better treatments for people with pancreas cancer. Clinical trials, there are different phases that people need to know about, and the goal of the different phases is different. For phase one, we're trying to find out what's the best dose and how this medication can affect people. There's usually a small number of people in it. Phase two studies are looking at safety and efficacy if the medication works, and phase three is comparing the research treatment to the best known treatment. What's important with all these different phases of research is for the person to recognize that it's voluntary. They can quit at any time. While we would like them to continue on the cancer clinical trial, it is their option to quit. They should try to find out as much information as they can about the clinical trial before they make the decision to join it. Often we'll say, well, you know, we don't know a lot of the answers that people are asking us, and that's why we're doing the research, but still we do have some information that we're able to share with patients so they can make an informed decision. Another reason why people may want to can consider cancer clinical trials is that they are leaving then a legacy. The clinical trial participation may not directly help them, but it might help patients in the future who are diagnosed with pancreas cancer. It, they will also be making a contribution to science by participating in the clinical research. Another important thing for people to understand about participation in cancer clinical trials is eligibility criteria. Not everyone is eligible to participate in a cancer clinical trial. We have eligibility criteria for two main reasons. One is that we want to study a specific group of people. If they have a specific tumor type or a specific stage of disease, that would qualify them to participate in a cancer clinical trial. The other reason for the eligibility criteria is for safety. For example, if we knew that a medication caused um, people to have more anemia, a lower red blood cell count, we might have an exclusion criteria to say that only people who have adequate amounts of red blood cells can participate in our cancer clinical trials. Sometimes people are frustrated because they want to be on a cancer clinical trial and they aren't eligible.